Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really great day thus far. And so, of course, we'll be taking a look at what is currently happening across the North Atlantic in terms of that activity in the vicinity of the Northeastern Caribbean and also going a bit out into the future to look at if models are still expecting that low pressure system in the Gulf of Mexico to possibly develop into something. So, before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update all right and so let's go ahead and get on with it and we can see that as we return to the to this imagery there is so much convective activity currently taking place uh, right now just in the vicinity of the northeastern Caribbean extending out into the Atlantic and this is all in association with a trough so uh, conditions will gradually improve across the region as we progress into the next couple of days of course so uh, this isn't going to be around for a very long time but we can see that there's just so much activity in association with it. Y así, para mis observadores en español, no hablo muy bien el idioma, pero estoy haciendo lo mejor que puedo para dar esta traducción. Así, la actividad en asociación con ese sistema se irá abriendo camino paulatinamente desde la zona. Y como resultado, la actividad de lluvia eventualmente disminuirá a medida que avanzamos en los próximos días. And so this is really the major activity taking place across the region because as we look uh, at the rest of the Caribbean, we don't see much happening, just some few cloud clusters here and there. But uh, we can see that for parts of the Southeast Caribbean, there is likely some overcast conditions, even some showers right now uh, for St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, even for Barbados as well. So that is what is going on, guys. Nothing too major right now across the region. But please remember that in the the case of a lot of heavy rainfall flash flooding is always a potential for low-lying areas so do not take any unnecessary risks as it relates to uh, the possible system that the models are showing for next week. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sea surface temperature map. So usually at this time of year, things are not very conducive to allow for development. However, uh, there have been many cases of preseason development. And we can see here that on this temperature map, as we look in the Gulf of Mexico, closer to the Gulf Coast of the U.S., temperatures are much cooler there and tropical cyclones typically need at least 26 degrees celsius or so in order to develop and intensify so if we have temperatures of around 22 23 uh, that is not something that is going to allow for much development to take place and as we look at the sea surface temperature anomaly map here though the temperature isn't very warm in the gulf of mexico right now we can see that it is warmer than normal because that is what those oranges and reds indicate that the sea surface temperatures are above normal at least for this time of year so uh, that is what is going on guys and as we take a look at the different model runs let's go ahead and start out with the GFS so if you're not familiar with this map we're really just looking for uh, those black lines they're called isobars and they are lines of equal pressure now when we see them in a circular manner with a low pressure which is typically indicated by an L the lower the pressure is the stronger the system and also the more compact those isobars are the stronger the system so let's go ahead and look at what the gfs is showing as of the latest run and so there we can see that the model is still consistent about something developing as we're going to be heading into the early to middle part of next week and eventually moving inland into florida but notice where we're seeing those colors those greens the yellows oranges reds those are indicating uh the precipitation and so we can see here that most of that activity remains to the east of the center of the system likely due to uh, strong upper level winds displacing activity from the center of it but of course there is no guarantee that something is even going to be developing next week and of course the national hurricane center hasn't yet said anything but as for the euro the euro is also consistent about something developing there we have that low pressure area of the southeastern coast of the u.s and eventually moving inland as we head to the latter part of next week and then the cmc is in agreement with that but showing development at a later time and not showing a strong system which i think is going to be the most likely outcome if we do see a low pressure area developing i don't think that we'll be seeing something very strong just because conditions are not highly conducive to allow for any significant development especially at this time of the year so that is what the models are showing and they have been consistent about this so i'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by 
And that is really it for right now. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with the wise.